Watch fans, this is Zach with a blog to watch. We're here at Basel World 2019 with a slightly condensed show this year, as has been widely reported. Now, one thing that's been kind of nice about that, though, is that with Hall 2 no longer part of the picture, uh, some of our favorite brands and a lot of really cool, quirky, sort of below the radar type stuff that used to be really spread out in Hall 2 is now actually conveniently located just behind me here in the upstairs of Hall 1. Some of our favorite trends in the show are seen here, cool dials, uh, interesting case designs, some more off the beaten path type stuff. We're going to take you through a few of those brands and a few of the, the best watches that we found here sort of in the back alleys of Basel World 2019. Let's go take a look. All right. We're here in the Laco booth, and we're checking out the Erbstück collection. Now, this is not new. We saw these last year, but there's quite a few more of them now. There's actually around 50 pieces in this collection. Um, Erbstück, of course, being German for heirloom. Now, these are inspired by vintage pilot watches. We have here an original 55 millimeter aviator watch uh, designed by Laco. It was actually designed to be worn over the thigh, which is why it was large enough. It could be visible in the cockpit. Um, these watches are all individually hand-aged, designed to look like a watch that is aged 50, 60, uh, 70 years, whatever. Um, very cool stuff, starting at 39 millimeters with the smallest ones, going up to 42, 45, and then the largest, of course, being a 55 millimeter hand-aged pilot watch. Extremely cool stuff. Um, one of my favorite things about these pieces, though, is that all of the cases have been meticulously uh, aged. They've been, they've been beat up, they've been scratched, designed to look like a watch that's, that's carried that full life. One of these pieces in this collection, actually, the, uh, the Rad Aux is designed, it uses those same techniques to, to mimic the aging, um, designed to fit within the, the Fallout uh, video game universe. So it looks like a watch that was worn sort of within that character. Very cool stuff there. My personal favorite has got to be the aged fully loom dial. Um, you can see here, she glows. All of these watches have Super Luminova, so fully modern movements. And, uh, and finishings to them. However, the only difference being they've been uh, they've been pre-damaged, sort of in the same way that like a um, uh, a vintage uh, Fender Stratocaster electric guitar has been designed to look like something that was played 50 or 60 years ago. So extremely cool stuff. Um, definitely, if you're fans of distressed leather jackets, old jeans, leather boots, that sort of thing, these watches are right up your alley. We're here at the Doxa booth with one of my favorite, most interesting pieces, most talked about pieces of the show, uh, the new Doxa Sub 200 T-Graph. Now this is a reissue of one of the most iconic dive watches of all time, the original T-Graph. This is done in orange, Doxa's orange professional dial. The kicker here, of course, being is done in full gold. This is a $70,000 chronograph watch uh, filled with 300 grams of solid gold, solid yellow gold here. This is fitted with a vintage a vintage restored Valjoux 7734 chronograph movement. Um, it will be available a little bit later this summer, but as a dive collector's piece, it's only limited to 13 watches. For dive watch collectors and absolute die hard Doxa fans, this is about as cool as it gets. We're here at Zinn, we're checking out the 104. Now, green has been one of the most persistent trends of the entire show, and few watches that we've seen that cover that trend in green have done it better than this 104. This is a limited edition piece to 500 watches, and it uh, comes fitted with an ETA 2824 movement. Day date, of course, this is a top grade, gold rotor, really nice finishing. But the, the hallmark of this, the best thing about this is just this amazing like bass boat green, like iridescent shimmer. At some angles, this thing grabs the light, it sparkles, it shimmers, it has this really, really amazing finish, but then at other angles, it almost looks black or dark gray. It's extremely cool. It was an absolute joy to photograph. The Zen 104, definitely one of the hot pieces of the show this year. Another one of my favorite trends of Basel World 2019 is bronze, and no one does it better than Meistersinger. We're here in the back hall. The all new Metris has a beautiful bronze case, brushed and polished finish on the side. It has some really, really nice angles on the lugs. But of course, the signature of Meistersinger, single hand, does hour and minutes. It makes one rotation around the dial in full 12 hours. Date complication at six o'clock as well. Uh, this is fitted with an SW200 movement, comes in just under $2,000. Beautiful, beautiful piece. One of my favorite things about this particular piece, though, is how the blue dial really neatly contrasts the bronze itself. It catches light at certain angles. It's bright blue at some, really dark blue at others. Really, really handsome piece. Comes in under $2,000. Not limited, either. So if you're into bronze, this is a great piece to have. And for our final stop of the day, we are here at Chrono Swiss. We're looking at the regulator day-night with a beautiful new blue guilloche dial. 
Now, the regulator is one of my favorite complications and it also happens to be what Chrono Swiss is known for. Single center mounted minute hand, the minutes being the most important part of the time readout so you can tell accuracy and sync other watches to this watch. History aside, what really matters about this watch is how beautiful this dial is. Again, guilloché, all hand done by Chrono Swiss in-house. Uh, the movement is based on an EDA 2895. It's been heavily modified with a regulator module, uh, but also it has an AM PM indicator at nine o'clock. Now what makes that indicator special is that it is a laser cut titanium ball that is filled with superluminova. So you get this really, really cool daytime, nighttime look. We're gonna hit it with the UV. You can see the stars light up there. Very, very cool. In addition to the AM PM, you also get a date uh, complication at three o'clock. Uh, but a really, really cool piece from Chrono Swiss. And if you're a fan of complicated multi-level dials or you're just a fan of the regulators in general, uh, this new AM PM from Chrono Swiss is really about as good as it gets. Another best kept secret from Hall One. Well, there you have it. Some of the very best watches that we found off the beaten path here at Basel World 2019. Of course, there was lots more to shoot uh, that we didn't have a chance to see, but if you want to see what we have shot, all the stuff the team's been on the ground here all week, head over to blogtowatch.com for more hands-on wrist impressions, tons of photos, and lots more. In the meantime, make sure to like and subscribe uh, here to our YouTube channel. It helps us out a lot, and uh, thanks for watching.